بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو لا ایجوکیٹم دس از دا ریویو آف نیو ٹیکسٹ بک آف فزکس گریڈ نائن بائی نیشنل بک فاؤنڈیشن دس از دا ٹائٹل آف دا بک وچ از ویری کلر فل اینڈ اسٹیٹیکلی بیوٹی فل ناؤ می وی موو ٹو دا یونٹ ایٹ دا اسٹارٹ آف دا یونٹ نمبر ون دیٹ از فزیکل کوانٹیٹیز اینڈ میجرمنٹ اسٹوڈنٹ لرننگ آؤٹ کمز اور ایس ایل اوز آر گیون ناؤ ہیئر از question at the start of the unit why we prefer digital balance rather the physical balance a big question or we can say a previous knowledge question is given at the start of the lesson then there is introduction to physics uh, if we see at the first slo describe the crucial role of physics in science technology and society we can see the first topic is related to the first slo that is first definition of physics is given then physics in science physics and technology and physics and society then there are pictures given which are original pictures not the diagram which give clear concept about the topic now there next topic is branches of physics there is no detail or definition of branches of physics only a mind map is given so student have to learn only the names of the branches of physics branches definition of branches of physics is not included in slos now next is physical quantities definition is given in bold letters then there is explanation with point to ponder which is important point and length measurement is given in the form of a diagram then base and derived physical quantities there are tables given as in the previous book tables are very clear and colorful then standard form or scientific notation here also the definition in this book are given in bold letters do you know in which mantissa is a new term which is included in this book and it was not present in the previous one prefixes to power of 10 a very clear table is given then examples are given then you can see there is a exercise can you tell in which you can you write the number in power of 10 and choose prefix to the following numbers two questions are given in this exercise then there is example of scientific notation and you can see that example solution is also given and in which answers are written in blocks so a student can easily find out the answer and this is a good method of writing the solution of any question then example 1.2 of prefixes again answers are given in boxes measuring instrument in which first one is meter rule original picture is given point to ponder is also given which is a short question can you tell here is also a question given means small exercises are given inside the unit also then there is an activity related to the meter rule then vernier calipers vernier calipers you can see that they have given original picture as well as label diagram which is very good all details are given then there is an exercise zero error zero error in vernier caliper this is shown very clearly with the help of these diagrams then taking measurement of vernier caliper is also explained with the help of diagram there is an activity shown now screw gauge is also with the explained with the help of original diagram original picture as well as label diagram all important points are written or headings are given bold letters then there is activity and exercise related to the screw gauge next is physical balance both physical balance original pictures are given stopwatch original pictures and in measuring cylinders diagram as well as original picture 
are given. Activity is also written. In significant figure, there is a very good diagram with the, with the length of bar point is measured with the help of a scale. Is measured with the help of a scale. Then general rules for writing significant figures. Again, an excess, short exercise. Then the summary of the lesson. Now come to the exercise. In first question is the multiple choice question. Here 11 multiple choice questions are given. Then there are conceptual question. Give a short response to the following question. First question is justify the statement. Next if you can see the terminology used in the conceptual question in first justify in second question what are or number three show number four briefly explain number five differentiate number five, six how number seven what precautions and number eight why do means different words are used for coping the different SLOs. Now there are comprehension questions that are detailed question. Define physics, describe its revolutionary role in technology. Then list. Then what are the physical quantities distinguished between? And give at least three examples. What do you mean by unit of physical quantity? What are prefixes? What is scientific notation? Describe construction and working of vernier calipers. What is screw gauge? These are basically same as in the previous book. Then there are numerical questions. Solve the question given below. In first question is of scientific notation. Then prefixes. Next question is converting the age. Next is again conversion question. Then pitch and least count of the vernier calipers and screw gauge. Then again question of vernier calipers in which the numerical is asked with the help of a diagram. And in seventh question again numerical is asked from the diagram. Here is the next unit. So overall the book is more colorful original pictures are used in this book which give more clear concept label diagrams are more clear all important definitions or points are written in bold letters answers are given in blocks short exercises or activity short exercises and activities are also given in the unit so overall i can say this book is better than the previous